Aloha, everybody. Welcome to part four of Resident Evil Village. We went, we entered in the Red Chimney, but now, after the Red Chimney, we, we're in the house of Beneviento. So we're going to have to pick up that flask. Let's try it. What? Wait, where's my gun? I hear my mom. Out there. And what happened to our weapons? Seriously, what in the world happened to our weapons? So this is Angie the evil doll. But yeah. And who placed a doll of Mia here? Oh God. Is this a doll of... Mia? Probably, probably, Ethan, but anyways, we're gonna have to examine that doll of Mia. We're gonna examine the right shoulder first. Remove the shoulder pad so that it will reveal a key. Now the arm. All right, after removing the arm, what we see is that puzzle for the door. Now we gotta examine the left leg. Examine it, remove it so that it gives you the winding key. Booyah! Okay, examine the ring, but which is the left arm, and take out that ring. Why is the ring covered in blood? What in the world? If you examine the mouth, open up, and there's a film inside. Something in, in its mouth, but you need some kind of tool to get it. If Ethan were to take it out of his hands, that doll might bite Ethan's finger. Now we gotta examine the left eye, and there's a bird flying to the right. Which is resemblance to a crow. We're gonna use the silver key to enter in the medicine room so that we could wash the uh, wedding ring. Well, we're gonna have to wash the blood off the, the wedding ring. It is a wedding ring, which I found out. Ethan, learn to use soap next time you wash the wedding ring. <laughs> Door's locked from the other side, and there's a hiding spot nearby. We'll examine the wedding ring first. It says here, May, tw May 29, 2011. That's how Ethan and Mia got married. That was back in Dolby, Louisiana. So, yeah. Easy combination. Booyah! But first off, let's go check to the left side. Go to the left dungeon. We'll solve that puzzle first. A bird that's flying to the right. Three scale, three eyeballs on the scale closes. That's nice. We gotta head to the storage room, folks. How did the door open? A memento of my time with Ethan, but this music box no longer plays. Why is this here? We're gonna use the winding key. And we got a puzzle to solve. There we go. Let's see. Nope. Let's try it. Hope this works. Now we got tweezers. Let's 
Now we're going to go back to the doll workshop and open the mouth to take out the film with the tweezers. Well, why did the picture frame just snap? Oh, God. <laughs> the bandages are real strong, so we're going to have to find some scissors to cut it off. We've got tweezers. I'm going to take that film out of the out of that mouth. That film resembles of a m monkey doll. Now Ethan sees Mia. Is he hallucinating or something? No. It is he's hallucinating because Donna Beneviento just gave him that hallucination to him. Our happy family, Rose's best friend in the whole wide world. She really likes this fairy tale, the most important thing in the world to us. A wedding gift from Grandma. Proof of Ethan's everlasting love for me. We're going to place this film onto the third slot. First off is... Best friend in the whole wide world, favorite fairy tale story, most important thing, Rose, music box on the fourth one, and the five wedding ring. Now we play the movie. They're showing off the bottom of the well. The well, right, of course. I wonder what they're going to do to the doll of Mia. Can't even tell. Projector screen fell down. <laughs> and now the pathway opens. Why are there so many dolls here? Jeez. Now we got scissors. So that we can be able to cut the tape down. The bandages are tough. You need something to cut them. Who puts these bandages as as tapes anyway? Did did Beneviento use that tape? Use those bandages? Oh, great. Now we got a phone call. Please, Ethan. Listen to me. I didn't want to keep it from you. Mia? I didn't want to lose you again. I didn't want to destroy this family. Mia, what are you talking about? I love you both so much. I had to. I had to do it. Oh. From Mia. That slot's missing, so we're gonna have to find a piece for it. Off the door. You can see Mia walking by. But first off, let's cut off the bandages. Oh, why did the doll arm just fall down? Oh, God. Now we're gonna have to take out that heart thing. This is a brass medallion. <laughs> Mia's crying over Rose. Jeez. So anyway, we're going to place this brass medallion onto the symbol. Wow, and the door already unlocked. That's good. And speaking of chest plate on the doll, doesn't it remind you of Sasuarto Shippuden, one of the Akatsuki's? The one where Lady, Ch Lady Chiyo fought and Sakura fought with? Now we're going to go down to the well and pick up that, that, uh, that their breaker box key. So many Mia dolls. Jeez. It would just break? Is that Rose crying? Let's hope that's Rose. Hope that's not Rose or anything, but... But I hear a baby crying. Don't drop my frame rates, please. 
Power's out. What the world? And there's some red light. Ugh. The Mia doll just disappeared? Ugh, so many... Tess, it's... Okay. Oh god. All right, now we gotta have to run away from the big fuck you baby monster. Yeah, we really are. You can hear the baby cackling. Well, it's, technically it's not a not really a baby. It's a baby fetus monster of the bioorganic weapon, you know. I think it's probably a bioorganic weapon that uh, Mother Miranda or Donna Beneviento created, you know? Because the power of the mold. If that baby goes after Ethan, it's going to eat him whole by killing him instantly. And it doesn't matter if he got health or not. Stay away from the baby. You get eaten, you die. And that's no good. God, what is a deformed bioorganic fetus monster? That thing's after Ethan! Oh my good gravy! Hopefully the coast is clear now, so let's go. Alright, the coast is clear. Let's head to the breaker box to where the elevator is located. Man, I love this game. It's so friggin' awesome. This is a uh, relief of a child. We, if we go to this study room... Wow, one doll just fell down. That's weird. And why is Angie doll here? Oh, God. Okay, now the door unlocks. Let's go. I think this leads to the hallway where it leads to the kitchen, hallways, and... Uh, Middle of the hallway, which leads straight to the bedroom. Beneviento's bedroom, right? And there's also a fuse. Once we pick that up, let's get on out of here. Do I hear heavy thumping? Oh shit, it's the baby again! We gotta run away from that baby. Yeah. The not the bonehead move is if you you hide in that closet, that baby's gonna open up and attack Ethan and kill him instantly by eating him whole. That is no good. Smart move is hide under the bed so that the baby doesn't notice you. Oh my god. It looks weird. Go. Oh no. Oh no, get away from me. Now that baby monster's coming after Ethan. At least we got past it. We had to head to the to the one where we got that relief of a child under the breaker box. 
So place that fuse there so that the elevator can go back to its normal state. But once you put the fuse here, Oh great, the baby's gonna come by and attack Ethan. There's no hiding spot to, there's nowhere to hide, you know. You gotta head to the, to the study room and hide from him. Oh no! Get away from me. Monstrous baby. Okay, make it to the elevator before he eats you whole. Booyah! Serves your right, pal. Glad that's not Rose. Glad it's over. We're not coming back again. It's Angie. folks, time to fight Big Bad Donna Beneviento, or I should say Angie. Yeah, this is going to be rather annoying. It's kind of like playing a game of hide-and-seek or Where's Waldo. If the Her dolls are going to be moving her, their heads around so they could shave your health off. Fucking monster. <laughs> Okay, that's one down. Now we got two more to go. Yeah, if one of our head dolls keeps moving their your doll, those dolls' heads keep moving rapidly, fast, they're gonna attack Ethan, and that can be no good. Now head to the living room and find Angie. Hurry up! No way. All right, now we're going to find her one final time and finish her off for good. By the way, I haven't mentioned this to you, but Angie's actually voiced by uh, Paula Rhodes, who's also Evelyn, in case you're curious. And, uh, and also, Beneviento, Donna Beneviento's voiced by uh, Andy Norris. Hurry up, Ethan, before those dolls attack you. And they're gonna go crazy and attack Ethan. This kind of reminds you of the movie Child's Play. Like with the doll Chucky. And Annabelle the, from The Conjuring. Oh god, no. Come on, where are you? Oh. There you are. It's over. Mia, I'll make things right. What? Good. I need to get out of this place. 
So by defeating it, by defeating Angie slash Beneviento, we got ourselves the four wing key. Not just the key, but we got Angie and the flask. So that's who was behind all this? Now we recovered our lost belongings. That's that's great. And we got Angie. Was Angie part of Donna Beneviento? Oh god. I don't know why it cal she calcified, you know. <laughs> well, we got the legs flask. That makes two. Yes, it does make two. Now we're gonna have to get the hell out of this this murky house. Too bad we can't even kill one of her dolls so they could attack Ethan. a phone call out there is on top of that I am gonna be heading to Smoky Bones with my brother and, and my friend Tyler for dinner so yeah that's how it is that's how life that's how it is because I haven't been to Smoky Bones for the last year or so We'll make that two years because, yeah, I've been to Smoky Bones since I was with Tana on my uh, my 26th birthday and on Christmas with my dad and my Aunt Jean. That was back in 2021. Right after I got the Nintendo Switch and I played Mario Odyssey. So, yeah. I will be back for the treasure once I find the slab. But let's go to this abandoned house, shall we? Oh look, the Moratius are back. This time they don't have robes. For sure. Those guys like to play possum all the time and they come out of the ground. Yeah, definitely get the small treasure box to get the sun and moon ball. Booyah! Not to mention shoot the cage. Bird cage. So that you can get the 2,000 leg. Let's head inside of that abandoned house to get the lock pick. Oh! Oh. Raspy hissing. Those moracious. They don't mess around, you know. Gotcha! Mine. Die. Why me, punk? Alright, definitely pick up the W870 tactical shotgun. That's one of our newest weapons. This is a lot stronger than in one of the previous shotguns, you know. Of course, we're gonna have to go straight to that house. Oh! Oh boy! Goodbye. All right, use the well and use the water wheel so that we can get the head for the doll. This is, I was right, Madalena head. So let's combine it. Don't examine it, combine it.
Okay, now we're going to put the uh, sun and moon ball onto the labyrinth. So we can do that puzzle. Yeah, the, okay, the gates, the fences move down. Be careful, because if your ball, if your sun and moon ball falls, falls out of bounds, you have to start all over. And that is no good. Whoa. Yes! By completing that, we got Onyx Skull. No, it has nothing to do with Onyx from Pokemon. It's a type of jewel. And we got Luthier's Key. Booyah! November 10. Mistress Donna is now Mother Miranda's adopted daughter. In all my years, I've never been this overjoyed. Ever since childhood, she always feared others due to the scar across her face. After her parents' death, she locked herself away and would only talk to Angie, the doll her father made her. I am forever thankful to Mother Miranda's infinite compassion. November 27, Miss Tristana seems happy, but it might be my imagination, but I feel like her doll Angie is even more lively than ever before. She came to me in the garden today and used Angie to talk with me. We had a mighty fine conversation. Something about receiving a gift of power from Mother? November 29, Miss Tristana gave me a yellow flowers and told me to plant them in the garden. I planted them in front of Miss Claudia's grave. I don't know if it was the scent of the flowers, but I felt lightheaded. Then, like a dream, I saw my departed wife. I mentioned this to Donna, and she seemed thrilled by it. She told me to go to the house tomorrow and see her. She said I could see my family once more. I'm not sure what she meant by that, but she's so kind. I think Claudia is Beneviento's Donna's sister or something. I don't even know why, but... Now we have to visit the grave and find the sun and moon ball. That's good to know. I also got the goat of warding. Back then. All right. First off, we're going to have to head wood creaking. There's that doll. Well, stupid Mauritius. Fine. That, that hurt. Large crystal. Get rid of the Mauritius hanging around the tree. Yeah, you gotta shoot the Mauritius coming from behind. Like he, like this guy. Furthermore, I, I gotta aim for his head. And we got a Vivianite. That's good to know. I'm not going to head over there yet, but for some reason we're going to have to, yeah, yeah, technically we're going to have to head to the, uh, the West Old Town, right? You have to head to the Maestro. Yeah. No, no, no. Let's keep going straight. My frame rates keep dropping. What the hell? Uh. 
Oh. Oh, come on. Let's see. Okay. Keep going. Head to the Luthier's house by using the Luthier's key. There's so many ukuleles. Shoot that yellow quartz down so that it drops and you can pick it up. I got more chem fluids. And here we have a puzzle. September 27, 2017. Right. Theo Ravsler, I don't know how to pronounce it. We got F2 rifle, high capacity magazine. Booyah! So let's equip it! I'll never forget her fifth birthday. Okay. Gotta find the slab. Well, of course we do gotta find the slab, but... Yeah. Oh wow, that door just opened. After dealing with Beneviento, that door just opened. Which gives you the slab that says Claudie. Shoot that blue jay down. Shoot that down so that we can get the juicy game. Who names that thing juicy game? Eva, June 9, June 1909, August 1919, maybe you, may you slumber for only a short while. I could probably go to the graveyard first. Well, we'll head back to Beneviento's treasure. More or less. That door's- that gate's locked from the other side, so we're gonna have to find another way out. Maybe later. We go see... 
Heisenberg, that is. First off, we're going to go back and deal, we're going to go back to the place, to the sun and moon area for right now, so that we can get our treasure. Why is the skeleton on the ground? There's a goat of warding on the bridge. First off, I forgot to get the photo. In the porta potty. Photo of a strange bird, which is a blue jay. This is where I found it, you know, before I got the photo. In any event, take out those goats. Now these goats can shave your health off by ramming in you. And you can get some meat. Yum! Well, I'm not technically not a fan of meat, but yeah, I'm not a meat fan. I'm only a poultry fan for sure. Now we got a new enemy called the Aureus Drac. Those guys are going to be very annoying. Yeah, him. These guys. That guy's going to be absolutely annoying. Because they got to have a big giant fuck you axe, which could shave off health. That's a way to stun him. The explosions will flinch him. Yeah, their swing attacks will shake your health off. The Uraeus Drax are very powerful. They almost look like Paul Bunyan. A werewolf version of Paul Bunyan. <laughs> but I digress. But I digress, though. This guy reminds me of that big executioner from Resident Evil 5. That dude does not mess around. Believe me, he doesn't mess around. Stupid Uraeus Drek. How would you like some friggin' mines? Oh god. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, you step on one, you take damage. Hey, bucko! Ow! That hurt! He just last slammed into me with an axe! <laughs> Nothing's damaging him. It's just you use explosions from now on, so... Yeah, let's try this on for size. Fall on your back, freak. We got the giant crystal axe. We're gonna put this uh, broken slab onto the missing piece, onto the piece, so we can get the Benegario's chalice. Excellent! You can head back to the Duke for now. My frames keep dropping. What in the world? Oh. 
Okay. I'm gonna wrap this up in part five, so... Should be good. Well, yeah, my brother's home for now, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna go see the Duke. I'm gonna use these, uh, full-winged unborn key. Oh god! Fight the Varkalak. That guy's gonna be annoying. And let's read this one first. Wounds are severe. It won't last much longer. I can hear it shuffling around about outside. It can ba it barely flinched when I shot it. I feel like it's toying with me. That isn't a wolf. Still, it won't lie. I won't lie down like a dog. If I can get the old water mill, I can stop it. I can protect you. It's so close. Damn, I'm so cold. My legs won't work. I'm so sorry, Louisa. Please forgive me. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm gonna fight this annoying monster called the Varkalak. These guys, they're gonna. Fight Ethan and claw you. These guys don't mess around, you know. They can, their claws could shave you up off your health. Oh! But first off, let's just throw out some... Let's throw some bombs at him. But he's still alive. Not for long. Now we got the crystal beast. Oh, what's with all that green slime anyways? Ugh. Fetch it's from Moreau. Salvador Moreau. No, this doesn't fit in this lock. You got the wrong key. Use the iron insignia key. <laughs> and here we got ourselves a new uh, uh, GM-79 grenade launcher. We got a lock pick. Explosive rounds. Ooh, yeah. What's with all that green slime all over the place, anyways? I have no idea why it's all over the place, but... Yeah. I'm not actually going to be going to the Duke right now, so... I'll probably wrap it up. Uh-oh. Okay, that's good to know, but... <sighs> Except it couldn't get any worse, but... Who cares? Oh my god, look at all that disgusting slime. It's covered in slimy substance. Looks breakable though. Yeah, technically I'm going to be wrapping this up by heading into that big windmill. Kill those pigs.
There's another labyrinth. Laboratory. Okay, now we're gonna head into that windmill for now, folks. Got a photo of a rare animal, which I just found. Reservoir elevator. Okay. Alright, folks, I'm gonna wrap this up in part five so we can go see Moral Salvador. So, until then, toodles.